Welcome to Using Block Booking for PracticeWorks Practice Management Software. This recorded class is designed for all team members and provides instructions for using block booking in the PracticeWorks Practice Management Software. By the end of this class, you should be able to define block booking and set up production blocks. First, we'll take a look at defining block booking. Block booking can be used to create a perfect schedule by indicating preferred times in the schedule for certain procedures such as high production blocks. Block booking can also be used to indicate times that the office is not seeing patients such as lunch hours, staff meetings, and individual producer schedules. These types of blocks are known as production blocks. We can see those here on the screen. Employee blocks can also be used when two employees share a column. Employee blocks are not visible until you attempt to make an appointment for that employee. The system will review the blocks that apply to the employee that you're trying to schedule the appointment for. For instance, if we reschedule this appointment for Bill, for, for Bill in the two hygiene columns, they appear open. But when we take this appointment and try to reschedule it, the blocks will appear indicating that the two hygienists will be at a seminar that afternoon, so those columns would be closed for that specific appointment. This class will focus only on production blocks since they are the most commonly used type of block. Production blocks can be set up in the schedule, either predefining them or can be set up on the fly. We'll go through both methods. Under the list menu in PracticeWorks, there is an option for production block booking definitions. When we click in production block booking definitions, we'll first see a list of all of the blocks that we currently have in the software. From here, we can edit existing blocks, remove blocks, or add new block booking definitions. If we add, we can give it a name. We're going to call this one high production. To the right, we can choose a schedule color. This is going to be the background of the block. So for instance, this lunch block that has a gray background, we can choose what color this block should appear in our schedule. We can also choose a text color. This is the color that the text for that block. So again, if we look at this lunch block, it has lunch in black text. We can choose a text color as well. To the right in the allowable treatment classes section, we can choose which appointments or which types of appointments we want scheduled during this time. If you do not select any allowable treatment classes, PracticeWorks assumes that that time should really be closed and that you don't want any appointments scheduled. So you want to select the things that we would want to schedule during this time so that we have all of the appropriate options covered. Once you've made all of your selections, we can click OK, and our high production block will now be saved as one of our definitions that we can use to put into the book when we're ready to do so. Next, we'll take a look at setting up production blocks. Let's assume that Dr. Klein wants a high production block every Wednesday from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. First, we're gonna to navigate to a Wednesday. And we have to switch our mode. Right now we're in what's called active appointment mode in PracticeWorks, and we're going to change this to block booking production. So under the appointment book menu at the top, we'll select the view option and then select block booking production. This is going to make all of the appointments disappear so that we can see the background of the book without having those appointments to contend with while we're doing our blocking. When we're done, we're gonna switch it back to active appointments and all of our appointments will come back onto the book. So to do this, we're going to click and drag in one of his columns. So if the doctor or hygienist or whichever producer you have has multiple columns, you're going to pick one and highlight the time that we want to block. So we're gonna 
click and drag from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. and then click anywhere inside this section that I just highlighted. It'll pop up with our block booking specification window and we can tell it where we want that block to appear. So first we up at the top, we can tell it we want to select the specific type of block we want to put in this section and we can choose our high production block. You can also add additional blocks at this point. So if I didn't have the high production block already added, I can click add and put a new one in right now. But since we've already defined it, we're going to select it and say OK. So we can see what it's going to look like down below our high production, the allowable treatment classes that we have selected. Over to the right, because we did select the correct time from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., I don't have to change the block time range. But if I did, if I had not dragged far enough or I'd started too early, I can change that time right now to make sure that it is correct. Below that, I can choose the active dates. So I can tell it that I want this block to go from Wednesday, January 7th of 2015 through whatever date I want it to go through. The maximum date it will allow you to block to right now in the tutorial in the software will be displayed above that field. So I'm going to say we're going to test this out maybe for the next few months and we'll see how it goes. So we're going to say through the end of March. In the chairs section, we can select which chairs we want to include. So if we were setting up like a lunch block or something or a staff meeting and I started in one column, I can now select the rest of the columns so that block will spread it out across all of the columns during those dates and times. I can also tell it when I want this block to repeat. If I say repeat every day or every one day, which is what it is right now, it's going to put that 12 to 2 high production block in every day of the schedule through March 31st of 2015. Since I only want it on Wednesdays and I started my date range on a Wednesday, I can tell it that I want it to repeat every seven days or it could repeat every 14 days or however many days we want that to repeat. So we can fill that in, say OK. And our blocks will be put into the schedule for every Wednesday until we reach the end of March. So when we're in, if we go to a Wednesday, so the 25th would be the last day those blocks were there. If we go to the first Wednesday in April, it's not going to be there. So it's just going to be for that time frame that we had selected when we set up our blocks. Once you're done blocking in the schedule, you're going to go back up to the top to activities. I'm sorry, to appointment book, to view, and then active appointments. And that'll put all of your appointments back on the screen.